Hello and welcome to the Hungarian Grand Prix as hosted by me, Ajax. Yes, that's right. I'm making a guest appearance on this wonderful channel today to do the sim of the 2024 Hungarian Grand Prix and what it may look like. And let me tell you, it is looking tasty. Obviously, Hungary is a very technical circuit. Not much room for overtaking bar turn one, turn two and turn three. The first sector, basically. But even so, I'm very, very excited because this weekend it's looking a bit overcast. So maybe we're going to see some fun racing out there. Obviously, there's been some great past Hungarian Grand Prix. One that sticks to my mind is, of course, the 2021 where Lewis Hamilton started on the grid on his own. What a time to be alive on the first lap. That was incredible. But let's get started, shall we? As we look, first of all, at the upgrades for this weekend. And yes, that's right. We're looking at the upgrades where Haas are bringing a big update to the grid, which could see them definitely do well this weekend. Looking out for Haas this weekend. There's a number of other upgrades across the field. Red Bull with two. Aston Martin one. Mercedes one. Racing Bulls one. Williams one. Alpine two. But the big one is Haas with the five. And that could definitely change everything. Unsettle the grid, shall we say, on this Hungarian track. But with that being said, let's jump into it with qualifying one. Which starts off with a big, big shock. As you see, Science unfortunately had an engine failure causing a red flag which means most drivers could only set one quick lap time, which was huge for the grid. We obviously see that a big change happens there with Science only getting 20th because of that malfunction with the engine, that engine failure. This did unfortunately unsettle the Hasses, which don't get a good result despite the upgrades. But we see... Basically the usual bunch bar sites at the bottom of the grid. Hulkenberg in 16th, Sargent 17th, Show 18th and in 19th Magnussen with, as we said, Sainz in 20th. Bottas just making it through in the end. And yes, it's a very interesting grid so far, but obviously many drivers could only set one real racing lap for this. So not much to take from it so far. So we jump in. To Q2 up next, which saw another big shock as unfortunately, oh, final classifications, my bad there, um, which unfortunately saw the provisionals where we saw Norris go out, which is a big shock, a big, big shock. Sonoda, Stroll, Albon and Bottas joining him. Which was, you know, bear in mind Piastri, a big jump for Mercedes there as well. But bear in mind Piastri out qualifying by the looks of things Norris there. However, if we go another place, we can see, unfortunately, Ocon had his time deleted. Which saw Norris just get through. With Ocon relegated to 12th place there. Big, big calls and yes, it massively shook up the grid because we could have seen Norris not be in Q3 and he could have a big effect on Q3 this race. You can see our usual suspects at the top, Verstappen, Alonso and Perez. But what will happen in Q3? Well, as I said, it would have a big effect because Verstappen is in P1, but Norris almost out, but gets into P2, and it's only by 40 thousandths of a second, I think that is correct, which is incredibly, incredibly low. Piastri in third, Alonso fourth, in fifth, Gasly, sixth, Russell, seventh, Leclerc, eighth, Perez, and ninth, Hamilton, with Ricardo in tenth position. Not a shock to many. But that was big. That was big. No interruptions, however. So it stayed that way, which is nice. It stayed in the grid positions. We are expecting for this race. And this is how the grid will line up for the Hungarian Grand Prix. 
in 20th. Big shock, obviously, with the engine failure is Carlos Sainz in 19th, Kevin Magnussen, 18th, show, 17th, Sergeant, 18th, uh, sorry, 16th, Hulkenberg, 15th, Bottas, 14th, Alex Albon, 13th, Lance Stroll, 12th, Ocon, despite, because of that deleted lap time, 11th, Lance, I read that wrong, 11th, Yuki Tsunoda, 10th, Daniel Ricciardo, 9th, Lewis Hamilton, 8th, Sergio Perez, 7th, Charles Leclerc, 5th, 6th, my apologies, was George Russell's, 5th was Gasly, 4th was Alonso, 3rd was Piastri, 2nd was Norris, and in 1st place, and it's not a big shock to anyone, Verstappen, but it's going to be a very close race here that could be massive. Shall we see what occurred as we jump in to the race results, which sees Norris win the Grand Prix with a last minute safety car due to a Russell engine failure, which made a battle for the win. We saw a huge, huge shock this race. Uh, which just changed the field massively. And yes, we see that Russell, unfortunately, did DNF. I believe there's a side glitch with the, uh, with the thing, with him being up in third, but trust me, that is wrong. And yes, a big, big, big change to the, to the race. You could also see that Nico Hulkenberg had huge reliability issues, which reduced his speed in the race, which was disappointing. Big loss of positions for Sonoda, as well as Danny Rick, but and Lance Stroll. But the uh, big story is, of course, Science with a brilliant drive back. And you know what? It has to be shouted out that both of the Alpines had a wonderful Sunday. It's a horrible result for Aston Martin, however. Of course, Lance Stroll doesn't get in the points. But, oh, there you go. I believe it was Alonso with the DNF, because I have just noticed that Alonso is missing. So Alonso DNF, which made a last minute shootout, which was a huge, huge, just downfall for our race results for the Aston Martins, dropping many points here. We've also Stroll having a poor race. But yes, it was Alonso with the reliability issues. So let's go through the grid. In 19th, well, in 20th, DNF was Alonso. 19th was Show. 18th was Hulkenberg. 17th was Sonoda. 16th was Lance Stroll. 15th was Kevin Magnussen. The Haas showed good promise despite Hulkenberg's issue. 14th was Bottas. 13th was Ricardo, dropping three positions. 12th was Sargent, gaining five. Very good drive from Sargent there. 11th was Albon, just ahead of his teammate. But unfortunately, they can't get in the points because in 10th place is Sainz. 9th place, Ocon. 8th place, Gasly. 7th place, Leclerc. 6th place was Perez. 5th place was Lewis Hamilton. 4th place was Piastri. Just missing out on the top three where we saw Russell fighting for the win alongside Verstappen in 2nd place. But in 1st place... Winning this race, thanks to that last second craziness, is Norris. So, very big shout out to Lando Norris there with the race win. But as you can see, that doesn't change much for... Well, it, it sort of changes a lot for our driver's standing. But it's a bad, bad time for Alonso, dropping a lot of points there. We see Verstappen still miles in front, the car with 152 points catching up with Alonso. But it's actually Norris that does the biggest catch-up, passing his teammate with that big point haul. We see Russell gaining a lot of points. Hamilton in seventh place. Obviously, it was a bad day for science, but that recovery drive will give him hope. Ninth place is Perez, absolutely just being destroyed by his teammate this season. Then in 10th, we have Stroll, Sonoda 11th, 12th, Gasly, 13th, Albon, 14th, Ocon, both having 
both the Alpines having a great weekend this time around. In 15th was Ricardo, 16th was Bottas, 17th was Sargent, 18th was Hulkenberg, 19th was Show, and Kevin Magnussen takes 20th. Max Verstappen was still eight fastest laps, eight podiums as well. He is on a roll yet again this season. And yes, we then go to the Constructors, where despite Perez is just abysmal driving, Max Verstappen is managing to carry the Red Bulls. But it's big games for the McLaren this weekend with that race win. Ferrari, not that far behind either. But obviously, Science's weekend was poor. Then we see the Mercedes and Aston Martin close out the top five. Racing Bulls in sixth, seventh. Alpine getting a lot of points this weekend, but not enough to catch up with the Racing Bulls. In eighth was the Williams, ninth, Sauber, and tenth, the Haas. None of them picking up points. And the next race will be the Belgian Grand Prix, which is obviously just as crazy at the best of times. Spa de Francorchamps. I believe I said that wrong, but you know what? I can't wait to see those cars go up a rouge. Thank you very much for watching. I've been AGX guesting on this channel. Make sure to like and subscribe for more great content of these. And as always, peace.